What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English Beat. I'm Gadia. Today's lesson is going to be the last one this fifth season. Today, we're going to review some of the things that we've learned together throughout this academic course, 21 and 22. I've prepared a quiz, grand finale. Are you ready? If so, grab a pen and let's get going. So let's get down to business. There will be 30 questions with two options, A and B. Grab a pen and a piece of paper and write down question number one and your choice, A or B. Ready? So let's get started. Question number one, things went south. A, things got better. B, things got worse. So super important, write it down, question number one, and the option that you think is the correct one, A or B. Number two, it's a catch A22, B32 situation. So once again, they say write down the correct answer. Three, he's a piece of work. A, he's a pleasant person. B, He's an unpleasant person. What do you think? A or B and write it down. Number four, I order takeaway food every now and again. It means I do it A, very often or B, sometimes. Pick the correct answer. Number five, there is no A, silver or B, golden bullet when it comes to putting an end to war. What do you think? A golden bullet or a silver bullet? Number six, she has the upper hand. A, she is at an advantage or B, she is at a disadvantage. What do you think? A or maybe B? Number seven, are you pulling my A foot or B leg? Choose the correct option. Number eight, professional app developers are A in demand or B on demand? Choose the correct preposition in this case. Number nine, I want to get A in or B into the habit of going to bed early. In or into? And write it down. Question number 10, could you put me through A with Mr. Brown or B to Mr. Brown? Number 11, sorry, you're breaking A down or B up. It's when you can hear someone because the connection is bad. Number 12, fasting has taken a toll A at or B on my health. Choose the correct preposition in this case. 13, anti-war A demonstrations or B manifestations are forbidden in Russia. Choose the correct option, A or B, and don't forget to write it down. Number 14, her outfit was so outlandish. A, it was strange and it has a negative connotation, or B, it was very original and it has a positive connotation. Number 15, it depends on A, if it's sunny tomorrow, or B, whether it's sunny tomorrow. Number 16, there are two people. Option A, neither of them knew what to do. Or B, none of them knew what to do. So we are talking about just two people. Number 17, I recommend A, that you read this book. Or B, I recommend you to read this book. Number 18, I suggest that he A, go. B goes to the doctor. Number 19, A, I got my phone stolen or B, I had my phone stolen. 20, get James A to set up a meeting or option B, nothing, get James set up a meeting. 21, have James A to set up a meeting or have James nothing set up a meeting. 22, she took exception to his comment. A, 
she felt offended or B, she didn't feel offended. 23, I'm open A, to go or B, to go in on a blind date. Choose the correct option A or B. 24, I'm accustomed A, to fend or B, to fending for myself. A or maybe B. What do you think? 25, it's time I got around A to meditate or B to meditating. 26, I decided to stop A to fast or B fasting. Choose the correct option. 27, I'm looking forward A to go, B to going to Paris. True story. I'm going there like in 10 days. 28, the accident was brought A about, B out by the fog. Choose the correct preposition. B, what you And last, number 30, have a good one. A, have a good time. Or B, goodbye. And now I'm going to give you the correct answers so that you can know your score. So question number one, the correct option is B. Things went south means things got worse. The idiom to go south means to take a turn for the worse. If it was correct, don't forget to put a tick. Number two, A. It's a catch-22 situation. It means that you have a problem which is impossible to solve. Number three, he's a piece of work. The correct option is B. It means that he's a very unpleasant person. Number four, B. Every now and again means sometimes. I order takeaway food every now and again, sometimes. Number five, A. There is no silver bullet when it comes to putting an end to war. The idiom, a silver bullet, means a magical and simple solution to a very complicated problem. Number six, A. She has the upper hand. To have the upper hand means to have an advantage. Seven, B. Are you pulling my leg? The idiom to pull someone's leg means to try to persuade someone to believe something that is not true as a joke. Number eight, the correct option is A. Professional app developers are in demand. In demand means that something is wanted by a lot of people. On demand means that you can do something anytime you want or need. Number nine, to get into the habit of doing something. So if the verb is to get, it would be into, to get into the habit. But if the verb is to be, the preposition is in, to be in the habit of doing something. For example, I'm in the habit of eating cocoa beans for breakfast. Number 10, the correct option is B. Could you put me through to Mr. Brown, please? So remember, could you put me through to someone, please? 11, B. Sorry, you're breaking up. Number 12, B. Fasting has taken a toll on my health. So the idiom to take a toll on someone or something means to have a negative and bad effect on someone or something. Number 13, A. Anti-war demonstrations. If you want to know the difference between a demonstration and manifestation, they are false friends. Check out my shorts. You can find a card right here and there is a link down below. 14a outlandish means strange and it has a negative connotation. 15b it depends on whether it's sunny tomorrow. So remember that after a preposition we have to use whether and not if. Number 16 the correct option is a neither of them know what to do. Remember that when we refer to two people, we have to use neither, but if there are two or more, it would be none. 17a, I recommend that you read this book. So after recommend and suggest, 
this is the structure that someone do something but if it was the verb to advise we could say i advise you to read this book this is a very tricky grammar point if you want to know more about it the same you can check out my lesson the card and the link in the description box number 18 the correct option is a i suggest that he go to the doctor. This is very tricky because after the verbs to recommend, suggest and advise that someone do something, we have to use the base form regardless of the subject. So he, she, it do something and not does. Let's continue. Number 19. The correct option is B, had. I had my phone stolen. We have to use had and not got in the structure to have something done when we talk about unpleasant things. Number 20, the correct option is A, get James to set up a meeting. You have to use to after get someone to do something. Number 21, the correct option is B, unlike in the previous structure, in this case there is no to have James set up a meeting. So after get, there is to, get someone to do something, but after have, there is no to, to have someone do something. Number 22, A, she took exception to his comment. So to take exception to or at someone or something means to feel offended or to be annoyed. 23B, to be open to doing something. I'm open to going on a blind date. So when the verb, in this case, the verb to open is used as an adjective, it's followed by ing, to be open to doing something. 24b, to be accustomed to doing something. And the same happens with to be used to. That is also followed by ing. I'm accustomed or I'm used to doing something. Number 25, it's time I got round to meditating. After the phrasal verb to get round to, we have to use the ing form. And it means to do something that you have intended to do for a long time. 26, the correct option is B, I decided to stop fasting. After the verb to stop, we can use both the ing form and to, but there is a difference in meaning. To stop plus ing means that the action is no longer continuing. For example, I stopped fasting. I don't do it anymore. And to stop plus to means to stop doing something in order to do something else. For example, I was walking along the street and I stopped to have a bubble tea. 27b, I'm looking forward to going to Paris. So after to look forward to, we have to use the ing form. I'm looking forward to going to Paris. 28, the correct option is A, the accident was brought about by the fog. In this case, to bring about is a phrasal verb that means to cause. So it's another way to say the accident was caused by the fog. It was brought about by the fog. And the phrasal verb to bring out has different meanings. One of them is to make someone or something show a quality they have. One simple sentence, you bring out the best in me. Two more to go, number 29. The correct option is A, this place is dope, means that this place is cool. And last but not least, number 30. The correct option is B, have a good one means goodbye. It's another way to say bye-bye. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched the last episode of the fifth season. I can't believe I've been doing this for five years. And thank you so much for having been with me all this time, for watching my videos, for leaving your very kind comments. I really appreciate it. Just to let you know that from now on, 
I'm not gonna be as consistent as I was before. I'm gonna continue making videos because I don't want to give it up, but I won't be as consistent as before. So I really, really hope I'll be back very soon with more useful content and I hope you'll be there. Thank you so, so much. And I really hope to see you soon. So ciao for now.